These are some of the best players in the NHL. I'm Jack Hughes. He scores! I'm Robbie Thomas. To Thomas, he scores! Hey guys, it's Jason Robertson. Robertson scores! I'm Bowen Byram. And he scores! I'm Quinn Hughes. Shoots, scores! This is Adam Fox. He scores! And we had them test out different sticks. Pumped to try this one. With different flexes. I hate this, this sucks. <laughs> to see which ones they like, which ones they don't like. It's really stiff. Can't, I can't even flex it, you know? And why? It felt like I had a log in my hand. Yeah, I can't believe people use this. I use an uh, 87 flex on my stick. I've been using it for as long as I can remember since I knew what flex was and I uh, just kind of stuck with it since then. I use an 80 flex. I was using 75 flex and then finally got a little bit stronger and made the jump to 80. I use an 85 flex. I actually just recently went up from 75 last year. 82 flex. So I used to be an 87, but I just realized I would get more whip out of the shot with an 82. 77 flex. I cut it down a little bit, so it's probably like more of an 82. I've been using 100 flex for six years now. When I was about 16 years old, I was using 85 flex. And I remember my coach and my dad watching me take shots and be like, Jay, like your stick looks like a you know wet noodle. Like it's, it's gotta go up. So uh, I ended up moving up to 100 that year. Uh, I kind of just fell in love with the, what it is and what the control is. And, I uh, used it ever since. Every player's flex number is different. Higher numbers mean the stick will be stiffer. Lower numbers mean the stick will bend more. But it wasn't always this way. In the beginning, NHL players used sticks made of wood, usually with flex numbers that were more uniform, giving all sticks a similar feel. Then, they began using sticks with aluminum shafts that had a couple of different flex options to choose from. In the Gretzky era, flex didn't matter as much. The greatest goal scorer in National Hockey League history! But in the Ovechkin era that we see today, they used one-piece composite sticks with nearly unlimited flex options. And each player has a different reason for the number they decide to use. I think the biggest reason for, uh, you know, picking the right flex is just the feel of your stick. Finds the open man, it's Fox, he scores! You're always flexing it even on a simple pass or on a shot. If you have a stiffer flex, it's better for one-timers and slap shots. If you have a lighter flex, it's, it's better for wrists and snap shots. Here's you shooting scored! It's all just personal preference and whatever you feel comfortable with. And it's not just about shooting, but you know, handling pucks and receiving passes and, and things like that too. When hockey players discuss stick flex, there's one term you'll hear often. Pretty whippy, very whippy. It feels whippy. Pretty whippy stick. I still got some whip to whippy. Whip, 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 whippy. It's pretty whippy. More whip, 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 whippy. Way too whippy. That's really whip, 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 whippy. Getting low with it and having it whip. So whippy. I still like some whip in my stick. Not as much whip to it. Get more whip out of the shot. Way too, way too, way too whippy. The lower the flex, the whippier the stick will be. This means it's easier to bend the stick and move the puck quickly. A lower flex is better for players who specialize in the catch and release. Like Austin Matthews' 80 flex or Connor Bedard's 71 flex. That's why you see them picking corners every night with the best of them. 
here's our players testing out a very whippy 65 flex. This feels like I might break it. I don't think I will, but definitely a lot more whippy than what I use. <laughs> I could have been low. Oh. This feels like uh, one of those plastic mini sticks, so flexy. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a light flex. Feels whippier than my stick, but not too much. I don't think I'll be able to shoot the puck very hard with it, but that's all right. <laughs> oh. oh, see, I, I, I just can't handle it. It's way too whippy. I feel like I'm gonna fall over when I'm shooting it. You can just kind of feel it give out a bit. It feels whippy and it feels small. It felt like, uh, like I was almost using a broken blade. I do not like this. Uh, I feel like I have no control when it bends. Yeah, I can't believe people use this. When it comes to stick flex, the opposite of whippy is stiff. Stiffer sticks are stronger and don't bend as easily. Players that take a lot of slap shots usually use a stick with a higher flex like to Daniel Chara and his 155 flex, or Victor Hedman's 122 flex. You rarely see sticks this stiff, and good luck finding numbers this high in your local pro shop. Here are our players testing out a 110 flex. <laughs> this feels like a wooden stick, like literally taken from a trunk of a tree and just can't, can't move it. Yeah, I mean, it's really stiff. Can't, I can't even flex it, you know? It's pretty stiff. I'm really have to put my uh, my whole body into that one. I don't think it'll work too well for me. It might break my wrist, but that's all right. It feels like 110, I would say. That's all I can say about it. I don't know if I've ever used a 110 flex, but I guess we'll see how it goes. You can tell it's not flexing much. The control I have on it doesn't feel as, as good to me. For me, no bueno. I hate this, this sucks. <laughs> I actually don't mind it for taking slap shots. <laughs> I wouldn't use it, it's too like firm for like receiving all my pucks. You gotta have a little give to it. <laughs> I think shooting a, a thing that feels like iron, I mean, just doesn't fit for my game. It felt like I had a log in my hand. We don't love it. I feel like I could still grind it out though. No, that's it. A 110 flex, too stiff. A 65 flex, too whippy. That's why most NHLers find themselves falling right in the middle. Fox with a shot, he scores! You know, when I release it, it you know, it's what I'm comfortable with and uh, feels good to me. Here's a great move by Thomas. He comes in, shoots. He scores! Yeah, that's my, my normal stick. Feels uh, right where I want to be. Quinn, he shoots, he scores! 
Yeah, feels good, ready to go. Get in Robertson, one time score! Yeah, it feels stiff like the way uh, I like the sticks. Yeah, it feels pretty normal because it's my stick and feels comfortable. Yeah, it feels good to me. A little bit of both, not too stiff, not too lippy. Choosing a flex is all about feel. Whether it's a one-timer or a toe drag and release, it all comes down to scoring goals. Hughes is in, Jack Hughes scores! Finds the open man, it's Fox, he scores! Drops it back, Hughes shoots, he scores! In front, Thomas shoots, and he scores! Wrist shot, score! Robertson! Back to Bourne Byron with a shot, he scores! 